What did you say, Abigail? I love you. <laughs> I am so excited. Aw, <laughs> sweetie. Hey, I love you. Have a great day, okay? Thanks for getting me ready, Mama. You're welcome. Let's go. You look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Good morning, my friends. How are we? We're good. Coffee? Jaguars Duval. Let's go. Let's go. What do you have today? What are you doing today? Today's Tuesday. I think you go to work today. That is a precarious coffee mug to carry in a Jeep. It's not the smoothest of rides. Music. Okay, we can do that. Heard. We are dropped off at school. It's a rainy, gross day. I guess we needed it. Ugh, that's an old man thing. Signs you're getting old when it rains and you say, we needed that. I mean, we really did though. <laughs> you ever feel like you get stuck in this routine? You get super antsy because you have the same thing going on day after day after. It doesn't excite you. It doesn't, oh look, and then the sun comes out. The sun comes out as I'm talking. What a wonderful day. You know that feeling? You know that vibe? I think that's what I struggle with the most. A lack of adventure in just like everyday life. Maybe it's a midlife crisis thing. Maybe I'm getting old and going into a midlife crisis and also I say things like, we needed that. You know what doesn't get old and repetitious and stale? Audible, because they're constantly updating titles on Audible. This vlog is sponsored by Audible. Shout out to Audible. As you guys know, it's kind of an easy one for me. Don't tell them that because I've been using Audible for five, six years. I don't know. It's been years. It's been a lot of years. I got a lot of titles in my library and you get to keep them forever, which is really cool. I've actually listened to uh, a couple of them now a couple times. Like Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. I've talked about that that audiobook a couple of times. Love that one. Speaking of, you know, looking inward. I don't know how many of you can relate, but I am a fixer. Like situations, people, machines, electronics, whatever. I just have a I have a need to fix things. But I think sometimes I neglect like self, you know? I've listened to tons of audiobooks on autism related topics, on uh, business related topics, on YouTube related topics, like how to make better content and all that. That's like self-help area? I don't really pay much attention to. Until now, till recently. So I just started The Perfect Day Formula by Craig Valentine, and it's kinda exactly what I've been looking for. It's like creating, free, calm down fish, calm down. Creating freedom out of structure, which sounds crazy, right? Like more structure in your day creates more freedom, but uh, those days where you just like, it just feels like monotonous and the same thing every day and you kind of get stuck in that rut and then you have those days where you're like man i wish i could duplicate this like i wish i could have this is a perfect day you know whether whether you're you know doing the things that you want to do you're just having a very fulfilled day you know productive day whatever and duplicating that so that's what that's what the audiobook is about would recommend it's got good ratings i give it a 10 out of 10. that's something that you can relate to or if you would like to explore other titles you know in the self-help area the mental health um, section or if you're just in a podcast you want to listen to some fiction or you want some sleep sounds or whatever genre that you're looking for it's available on audible and like i said 30-day free trial just go to audible.com forward slash asa moss my name or you can text Asa Moss to 500, 500. Try it out, nothing to lose. You guys know I've been preaching about, about Audible for, for years now. Go into the link, check it out. Look for a title that interests you and comment down below which title that is because it might be something that I'd be interested in. So you'd be helping me, thanks. <laughs> Don't you wish like just everyone in your life was as excited for you to come home as your dog, Whoa! as your dogs are? You know? Well, dog. The other one's old. He doesn't care about anything. Your head's healing up well. That's good. So happy. Wow. Really? All I get is a tail wag. Hello. How was your day? Was it good? It wasn't good. You gonna tell me about it? You wanna tell me all about it? Okay, come on in, we'll, we can talk about Woo! it. Need to add that to your routine. We haven't been doing your backpack. Well, you haven't been doing your backpack. Come on. Empty it. You gotta open this.
in a bit of a moment, a long bit of a moment, but we were just talking. What did you say, Abigail? I love you. I am so excited. Aw, <laughs> sweetie. I love you too. I'm glad that you worked through that. That was, so we went to her, feel, her feelings page because we were gonna show her she, she was communicating. I'm mad. We wanted her to communicate that she's mad. I am happy. You are happy? That's good. So she said, how do you feel? She tapped, how do you feel, and said, I love you. We're like, aw, thanks for loving us, even though you were mad. <sighs> That's tough, huh, kiddo? Let's finish our backpack. Mm -hmm. We still gotta finish the backpack, though. We got past our, our feelings, you know? There you go. Now we gotta finish it. Gosh, that was the sweetest thing ever. Right? Thank you for doing that. Do you have anything else? There's another tough one there. Is it? Oh yeah. No strawberries, huh? It's not your jam. Didn't want them. But you ate them in your cereal. So the cool thing is that this, um, this whole process was retained from two years ago. Yeah. Two school years ago, when she was emptying her backpack, your backpack out. Up down there. Um, we, there was no prompting <clears throat> other than, you know, do your backpack because she didn't want to, but other than do your, pro do, you know, do your backpack. But there was no prompting on where things went or anything like that. She's just doing it. No, remember we took our break. Now we're going to do our backpack. First this, then the snack. Thank you so much for listening. This so, clarification on things. Um, there's, there was no disruption to her routine. Uh, the only thing is, instead of doing like coming home and doing the tasks that she might typically do, um, you know, she doesn't always get a snack when she gets home either. We don't have a lot of routine when she gets home, and that's been going pretty well. She will develop her own routine. We don't have to do it for her. She gets into a pattern, and uh, it's pretty much, you know, she has expectations of what her routine's gonna look like, but we haven't even been doing this long enough now for this school year for there to be a routine. Um, so it wasn't upset about a routine change or us having her do her backpack. She was upset before the backpack was even a thing. This is just something um, that she experiences not daily, a few times a week. It could be a frustration or anger about something that happened previously in the day. It could be something that she's thinking about that she knows is coming up later. It could be at that moment she got a little bit mad about one thing or upset about one thing and it escalated uh, drastically for her. Think of like anxiety if you've ever dealt with anxiety. Something seemingly small, when you really spell it out it might be a small thing, can really avalanche into a full on anxiety attack. The fix is that we help her to manage her behaviors when she's feeling those emotions because you can't stop those emotions, you know. It's hard to share that stuff without also sharing like the behaviors while she's having those moments so you know there's kind of a thing like you know protecting abigail type of deal it's mostly like talking her through it and working through it and like you know helping like you know using the ipad push the ipad towards her, like communicate communicate how you feel communicate what you need you know instead of using behavior as a form of communication um to where it might be aggression or you know self-injurious behavior things like that so Priscilla doesn't think she, that she's creative. It's always been like, she was, she's always like, you're the creative one, you're the good. People are creative in different ways. Yeah. You know? You are very creative. And it you showed a lot when you're cooking, I feel like. Yeah. What do you mean you can be creative in other ways? You just, you know. You just gotta do it. Yeah, you just gotta do it. Yeah, you're not exclusively creative just with food, you know? <laughs> So you always have your own twist to a recipe. Yeah. And then sometimes you just like go off on a whim and you like start it completely different, right? Yeah, I mean, I just looked at Pinterest and I was like, ooh, that sounds like a good dish, but I have no idea how they made it. <laughs> so I'm doing my own thing. Right. Um, so I'm super excited. So I'm gonna do chicken enchiladas with a white sauce. Mm. But like they cook their chicken, I know, 
like stove top and all of that like mm -hmm. like sauteed it but i'm doing like um onion and bell pepper i'm gonna put some taco seasoning i'm gonna do chipotle adobo not a lot because it'll be too spicy for you guys right and then some mild green chilies and i think i'm gonna put chicken broth over it and let it roast for a little bit then my hope is that I can like pull it apart, like shred it. Okay. Put it in tortillas, wrap them up, put them in a baking dish, make a sauce to go over it and bake it. We're going to see how it turns out. Okay. If not, we can make sandwiches. It, you know, I, I mean, I can count on one hand how many times your meals are like, yeah, that didn't work out. Right, plan. <laughs> you know, like I'm you have like, a good. I have a plan B if it doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good understanding for like how things cook though, so. <laughs> You always do well with we'll it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So we're just gonna put this. Okay. Chicken. So you got some big chunks in there. So it's yeah, still... I took the I took the chicken breast and kind of cut it up though, so it doesn't. Right. It'll cook better that. And way I'm gonna season it, and I really want it to be good and seasoned, because that's the biggest problem for us with chicken breasts is it's so bland. So you got an extra. What she means is by us, because we don't have a problem with seasoning our chicken. What she had, what she means is. Other people don't want to season their food, and mm -hmm. your chicken's bland, especially when it's using chicken breast. So yeah. season it. You gotta season it. <laughs> we don't have that problem. <laughs> well, we have that problem with other people. <laughs> <laughs> season your chicken. Come on, y'all. <laughs> you really should get a notepad and just write this stuff down for the future. You know. I know. Like. Because I've never done this. Like, I've only. I'm made serious. Enchiladas. Like you need to start doing that. So. Yeah, I've only made enchiladas one other time. I don't like red sauce. Mm -hmm. Do you like? No. I like white. So I'm gonna make it with Colby Jack and Mexican style cheese. It's looking good. Right? Yeah. It smells amazing. It does. And what are those? Adobo, what is it? This is um, chipotle peppers and mm -hmm. adobo sauce. Mm -hmm. um, I actually make another chicken, a Dr. Pepper chicken with these. The Dr. Pepper chicken is that? Yeah. Hmm. I made that. Wait, does it have real dark pepper in it? Yeah. Really? What are you doing? What is that sound you're making? I hear you. Come here, you can help. Come here. Careful. Watch what you're doing. Good job getting out of the way. Kind of being dramatic. Pull it down. Nice. Thank you. Okay, you want to close it? Close it for me. And I'm just putting it on 350. Gently, hold the handle. In case you're following the recipe. <laughs> nice. You excited? I think she is. So in her vocational program, she's been working on, uh, like today, or yesterday it was. Yesterday, right? Yeah. Yesterday they bake muffins at school. And, uh, cause they don't go to businesses every day. Um, they're doing twice a week right now where they go to businesses. So, um, she's going, and it is five days a week, but it's only nine to one. So she's going to, uh, business a couple days and then they're working on those skills and the, that they do out in the community. They're working on those skills back at, at the clinic again. Except for Mondays where they work on life skills like baking and cleaning up the kitchen. It's cool because they do every step. Like they do the prep, they do the baking, then they do the cleanup. She's doing dishes, doing every part of it. And she's doing OT again, so that's exciting. Yeah, back in occupational therapy. I forgot about that. I have that. a therapist that comes right to the clinic. Yep. So what does she work on in OT? I'm glad that you asked. So one of the things, and it's crazy because like normal, That stem is back, by the way. Uh, normal occupational therapy stuff, which I say normal, maybe you don't know if you don't know about, uh, about occupational therapy, but it's gonna be like dexterity and like crossing the body to, you know, manipulate items. And with her, you know, we wanted to work a lot on using both hands to perform the same task, even if, even if that, you know, it's, they're both performing the same task, but they have different jobs, each hand does. Does that make sense? So like one of the things, is when she puts on her shoe, she'll slide her foot in and push the tongue down so it's folded under the front. And this is a funny thing, but it helps with comfort and it's just, you know, 
It's a quality of life thing. So like, can you help her to learn to pull the tongue out when she puts her shoe on? It's little things like that that you can you can ask your therapist to work on um, to in, to improve your child or loved one's quality of life. So that was it was one of those goofy things where I was like, hey, can we work on this? She's like, absolutely. So, but that's definitely a two-handed operation. You know, one hand is pulling the shoe on, the other one is holding the tongue up, type of thing, and they're both working together. Um, and that uses all those parts of the brain things. Yeah, no, I'm not a therapist. Abby has a fantastic piece of plastic down there. She's yeah. going to town with it. I, when you were like, that's gotta be in the oven for like an hour and a half, two hours. It's like, what time are we planning on eating? Cause it's late, but it's not late. It's just dark out there. Yeah. It's 4.45. <laughs> Cause then you were like, is it coffee time? I'm like, a little late for coffee. And then we're getting older, babe. Like we'll be up all night. <laughs> we still got our iced coffee out. So I didn't even, it feels late, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Because it's thunderstorming today. Yeah. It's raining. It's raining. Uh, my flowers needed it. <laughs> so Priscilla doesn't know. She didn't even know that this was this video was an audible video. And she had no idea what I was talking about earlier. I was literally talking about, like, I don't know, like, midlife crisis uh, paired with the whole, like, oh, we sure needed it. You know? Oh, that's it the... so funny. <laughs> she has no idea. She's losing her mind over here. She's freaking out. So we got this, hold on, the chicken is being shredded. Right? But look at this, look at this. Okay. Just, like, throw this sauce together. I yeah. don't know how you... Yeah. So sure. you use the drippings? I did. Okay. I have the drippings, drippings, and then I took Mex the Mexican pour cheese yeah. with sour cream, and then I added another can of mild green chilies. Have you tried it? Yeah. It's <laughs> so good. I'm over here calling my own name out. Mm -hmm. She goes, Priscilla Moss. <laughs> Priscilla Moss. <laughs> it's so good. So I'm going to... So that's going to go on top. Well, I'm gonna put some on the bottom. Okay. Then fill the tortillas with the chicken and then put some on top and okay. bake it and put more cheese on top. I'm so excited. You, you're gonna have to do this recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. are gonna love it. Yeah, she says. Do you guys wanna try it? Yeah. You can try it off camera so I know you're not faking it. <laughs> First, try this. Well, here, put the chicken. We'll just eat the chicken separate, so you know. Okay. That. Right. It's delicioso. Okay, here you go. What's that? That's the sauce. Oh. Okay. Try it. I was like, I don't want just like chicken gravy. No, no. No, no. Okay. no this is the this sauce. This is this enchilada sauce. I'm not sitting. What's that? <laughs> wow. Okay. It's amazing, I, right? I'm a little, I think I'm back my throat. It's spicy? Mm -hmm. I had something, mm -mm. something hit me. There was a spice direct to the, to the throat. Okay, he's not the taste No, system. it's really good. <laughs> I just got a spice, you know, you get like peppercorn he straight to like the dome. vomit. I know. <laughs> it's so good, mom. It's amazing, right? Yeah. Wow. And Abby's like, wait, um, you hello. Try this? Try it. Try it. Take a bite. Just like always. Listen. Just like I am so hungry, y'all. I know. Mm -hmm. It's been cooking forever. Mm -hmm. That looks fantastic, so. Thanks. It's kind of an orange sauce, not a white. <laughs> it looks right though. Yeah. You know, it looks right. Hey, come help us at the table. That's not what we're doing. Okay. Whatever. You're missing out. Dang. Right? Yeah. Mm hmm I'm excited. I love when I do a new recipe and it turns out so good. Yeah. This is where the creativity part comes into play. The plating? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Shut your mouth. That looks awesome. Right? Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Good job. I love the teamwork. Nice. Look at you guys. This good reminds stack. me of me and my brothers. Here. Doing the dishes after dinner together, arguing. <laughs> Look, check this out. Let me help. Let me help. 
do it like this. Take this cup out and put it in there. There you go. Two separate stacks like this. There we go. Close it up. We don't even <laughs> want to go in there anymore. Just kidding. Mm. We need to go back in there. So they have to stack together. You don't understand. Mm. Do they stack? Let's try that one in. Switch it. So just let me just do it, brother. Just let me stack it how I want to stack it. Okay. Oh, that doesn't fit. Nice. I love it. <laughs> Tower of Cups. It gives us Isaiah so much anxiety. <laughs> we can take two at a time. Okay. Don't don't mess her up, man. Just let her do one at a time. Hey, listen. Once we learn the skills, the listen, basics of the skills. Mister, I would listen, want we just, everything. Listen, up. we just got to where she's doing like the whole dishwasher on her own. And now if she does she one at a time, she does one skills. Time. She'll do one fork at a time, back and forth, okay? That's just life. It's You used to stack everything on the counter. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, you, you would take it out of the dishwasher and stack it on the counter directly above the dishwasher. It would drive and then, that crazy. I'm like, what sense does this make? Where does that go? You just set it over here. She just kind of leaves it wherever she wants. You put it here on the counter. It's going to go on the stove when I'm cleaning. You're doing a great job. I'll take him. She's like, Dad, does he know what he's doing? <laughs> I know full well. Daddy. Well, she's she doesn't know that because she's been doing the dishes since you've been gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take them. I love this so much. Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> These ones are dirty, so we gotta put them back in. We gotta redo it, the whole thing. Chuck it. I'll take this. Okay. Sit with that. Cutting boards a massage. Let's get them dry. She's like, I like to put dishes away wet. I ain't got time for this crap, brother. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't. A... Hey, Google, stop. <laughs> Things you guys that missed out. It was like 30 camera. seconds. <laughs> it was spontaneous. We had to, we do a dance party when Abby's done with the dishes. And I know I'm just good. saying, there's the cabinets in the ceiling are soaking wet. And I feel like we need to wash <laughs> the <laughs> towel. Like, <laughs> he's, he sprayed the water hose. I was doing the, the this thing. The flash dance thing? Yeah. With mm. the water. It felt like oh. a good idea at the time. It was awesome. <laughs> Every time it's really wet on the floor. Be careful dancing. Do you need more water? I just want to say Do though. More water? For a dishes okay. dance party, Isaiah and I popped off. Yeah, we you really did. I don't the wheelbarrow twerking thing. You guys missed out. That's, that's not that's what I'm gonna say. Like, you don't get to see that. A dance contest, that's the that's move. The move? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hop on our Patreon, that'll be, <laughs> that'll be top tier. Um. All we're supposed to do is provide a positive reinforcement from completing, completing the task and pair a positive experience like a, a family dance party. We're not supposed to be tearing abdominal muscles, but because we have our heels on the counter doing some kind of weird dip thing, Asa, I don't even know what that was. Right? Was a lot. <laughs> Just suspending yourself. I was suspending. <laughs> I don't know what it was. You look like a magician's volunteer. It felt right. Or assistant. Yeah. Don't forget to check out the link down in the video description to get your free trial of Audible. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Everybody say bye.